Hello and welcome to today's video. So today, oh, boy. Today we're looking at this pearlescent watercolor set from Yasutomo and I'm possibly saying that incorrectly. I don't know. So I have used these a little bit, a very little bit, um, and when I first tried them out they weren't exactly what I thought they would be and so I kind of uh, moved on to different things. But I wanted to try them out again and use them to their potential because um, I don't think they're bad. Uh, anyway, so so we're gonna do some swatching and, and then I'm gonna see how I can get these to work. Um, what, we're, we're gonna see what they can do. So like I said, we're doing some swatches here and I drew this little chart because as far as I can tell, the paints do not have color names. And um, that's that's what's going on here. So this is what the colors look like on white paper and because they are pretty translucent I had the genius idea to lay down some uh, marker for a background but did not think about the fact that these are actually watercolor markers and I'm painting with water over them so uh, needless to say for most people anyway um, it kind of ran when I put down the watercolor. So I quickly realized a large wash of color wasn't really going to work over these water-based uh, markers, but I thought I would try to put some little dots of color down and perhaps unsurprisingly um, the color of the marker eventually mixed together with the color of the dots too. So my little white stars are becoming little gray stars. So I decided to not bother with the rest of the water-based marker backgrounds. I'll do something with that later. Uh, but I wanted to see what would happen with this highlighter. Turns out uh, they did not blend so much with the highlighter, so uh, that's good to know. So I did one more little doodly <laughs> flower painting um, in this sketchbook. But this sketchbook isn't really made for watercolors exactly, so I wondered what would happen if I actually took my time to draw something and try to make it nice on some actual watercolor paper. I have some really beautiful lilacs outside my window, so I just used that as reference and started painting a very loose interpretation of those. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how this ended up turning out. It's not a super defined or realistic painting, but uh, at the end I do really like how it looks. So this was the end result, and I know it looks a little unfinished. I thought about going in with some colored pencil or markers, but I didn't want to do that today. Um, I, I kind of want to think about it a little more. But as far as the paint goes, I think it looks pretty cool. After a very brief review, I would say these are pretty decent paints. I think they're pretty nice. Um, I think they have a lot of potential, especially for somebody who uh, maybe knows what they're doing. And one of these days, that could be me. I do hope to explore more with these. I'm thinking I'll probably try to use them as sort of a finish on either alcohol marker art or like if I've painted something in gouache, I would use this as like um, a shimmery coating over that. So, but then, you know, I might do something else too. I don't know, I have to mess with it more, but I'm glad I <laughs> sort of remembered that I had these and that I needed to give them a fair chance because um, I, I think they're pretty nice. So that's my final um, 
judgment or that's that's what I'm that's what I'm saying right now and again I'll, I'll mess with them more later but um yeah 